Hi everyone, this is Jim with Torque Motorsports, and uh, we're going to go over a quick preview of our 14-inch big brake upgrade kit for the GM Kingpin Dana 60 axle. Um, talk a little bit about the kit, how to take our uh, conversion bracket and put it together on your GM Kingpin Dana 60 knuckle so that you can upgrade from your stock 12-inch discs and single pot caliper to a much larger 14 inch um, inch and a half thick rotor um, this equipment is off of a uh, 2009 and later Dodge 3500 it gives you incredible stopping power and really helps if you're running larger tires 40 inch 42 inch 43 We'll continue on with this and kind of go through some of the highlights, things that you need to know to make this conversion happen. So we supply this kit in a couple of different configurations. If you get on our website, torquemotorsports.com, uh, you can purchase it as just the brackets, the pair of brackets, um, or you can purchase the complete kit, which is going to come with a couple of different rotor options, calipers, uh, brake pads and a hardware kit and then also the uh, kind of the critical Dodge Mopar component is going to be this uh, big old flange metric nut. So in preparation for putting this kit together the first thing that you're going to want to do and well while, while we're doing this we're doing it on the workbench for the ease of making this video you're going to want to tear your brakes off and take your knuckle down to basically the spindle installed on the studs and take your hub off. Next you'll need to get your hub to a machinist or if you have a lathe you'll need to machine this perimeter on the hub down to seven inches eight hundred and fifty thousandths. The reason for machining the hub is to allow your rotor the new Dodge rotor to slip over the top of the hub rather than mount behind in the OEM configuration. A helpful trick is to be able to take the nuts off of your factory spindles and remove the spindle from the knuckle so that you can slip the bar over the top of the spindle and then put it back down onto the knuckle. Doing this will allow the uh, bar that supports the cradle on the caliper to sit between the spindle and in the cast notch on the back of the knuckle. Granted this video is kind of the snap together Lego version but it does give you a quick idea of how the process goes together. The next step is to take your retaining hardware, your uh, stover nuts or lock nuts, whatever you choose, to, to fasten your factory spindle down to the knuckle, install those, and torque them to factory spec. Once you're at this point, you can go ahead and reinstall your hub. At this point, you can install the rotor. You'll notice that we only have two studs uh, kind of quasi installed into the hub for the sake of uh, demonstration, but this design is meant to be lug centric. At this point, you'll take the two M18 18 millimeter flange OEM uh, bolts for the uh, caliper cradle, and you'll install these going through the fabricated bracket up into the uh, threaded female side on the on the cradle. Both of these bolts will need to be torqued to 275 foot-pounds to the factory spec. From here on you can go ahead and load your calipers and then install those. At this point you'll install the uh, brake pad guides onto the cradle. Then you can load the pads onto that and install your pins onto your caliper 
through the back of the cradle and wrap it uh, wrap it up and call it done. A couple of things to note on this uh, kit are uh, questions that we are or commonly asked are what size wheel does the kit fit? Um, we found that the best approach is to use a 17 inch eight lug wheel or larger. Um, we've had the best luck with four to four and a half inch backspace, but the, the kit does seem to accommodate a variety of wheels. The other question that we've had um, quite often is will this kit fit a dually hub? And the answer is no. The reason being is the hub face that the rotor mounts to is quite a bit more outboard when you measure that distance down to where the spindle registers down onto the knuckle. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call over here at Torque or send us an email. The information will be located below in the video description line. Thanks for watching and feel free to comment and ask questions. We're happy to help.